Hi, I'm Paul Darley, and thanks for tuning into our February issue of Inside Darley. If you're like us here at Darley, we spend a lot of time scouring the market to see what trends are taking place. And one of the best reports that we look at every year is put out by the World Economic Forum, and it's called the Global Risk Report. We've actually attached, our first attachment here is the 2020 report that talks about the risks that are taking place in the world, both uh, in terms of likelihood as well as the impact. And as you look at those risks, you know, some of the ones that come to mind really impact you, our customers, our firefighter customers, our Department of Defense customers, particularly as they relate to climate issues and human and natural disasters, cyber attacks, infectious disease is what we're seeing with the coronavirus out of China, uncontrolled wildfires as we're seeing uh, down in Australia and certainly parts of the United States here, uh, as well as the water crisis. And we, and Darley, we've been onto the water crisis for quite some time, but just in the last 90 days, it really has a heightened awareness, primarily because of what's being called the forever chemical being leaked into our water supplies, particularly here in America and abroad. And a lot of those water supply damage is coming from firefighting foams that have been used over the last, gosh, 50 years, if you can imagine, particularly AFFF foams that are used on Class B uh, liquid uh, gas fires. So, And uh, this takes place at airports for their training, as well as military bases, and really all sorts of uh, fire departments. If you can imagine, as a kid, I remember the fire department in my local community, you know, having, we were running through AFFF foam as a kid they would blow up all the bubbles and it was a fun thing to do on 4th of July. So this is a real problem. And those foams contained what was called C8, which was a forever chemical. And in the last few years, all of the foam manufacturers have moved to what's called a C6 chemical. Well, I'll tell you, the C6 chemical now, some of the scientists are saying that may be creating problems as well. So we've attached for you here several articles. One talks about the difference between C8 and C6 foams and some of the forever chemicals as it relates to there. The second is an article that came out from uh, Guardian on J January 22nd relative to, it's, it's titled, The U.S. Drinking Water Contamination with Forever Chemicals is Far Worse Than Scientists Thought. If you, if you uh, receive this video via uh, email, we'd encourage you to go to the link that's on the email that talks, uh, it was a CNBC report that came out on January 22nd. It's a 20-minute report, but it's really excellent and talks about the contamination that's taking place in and around military bases. Some people are estimating that this is a $100 billion problem problem, if you can imagine. So you know, here in the you know House in Washington, D.C., the House just passed uh, House Bill 535, which is called the PFAS Action Act of 2019. That's now pushed over to the Senate, where maybe it's stalled, but we're going to, we'll see what happens there. We've attached a, uh, a GAC legislative update for you on that, where if you're interested, you can find out information on that. The Department of Defense has also said all AFFF foams are going to be banned effective October 1st, 2024. And we at Darley have made a conscientious effort, we've decided we're going to stop the sale of all AFFF foams at Darley in 2020. So what is your option? Well, now the new option is uh, triple F foams, which stands for fluorine-free foams. And, you know, how well do they work? Well, NFPA just completed a, a very in-depth study that we've attached for you here this in the month of January. So in short, it says, look, this Triple F foam is about two to ten. It needs to be applied at an application rate of about two to ten times higher than the traditional A triple F foam. So you know that's implications for foam eductor systems. That's implications for uh, foam pumps because it's very viscous foam. So stay tuned on that. And in the in, in the interim, Darley has got a great solution with our flame virtual reality uh, training system. We've sold a lot of these to the U.S. military as well as a lot of training facilities here in America and around the world. In fact, we just got back from exhibiting at the Intersect show in Dubai in late January. We were really the talk of the show as you walked in. We had two huge monitors uh, just displaying the, the flame system where all of the attendees could see where the, uh, the those who were displaying or, or in virtual reality could see exactly what they were seeing. So some neat stuff. We've attached the information on that as well as our new virtual reality fire extinguisher system. Look, I know that's a lot to take in, but it's an important issue. If there's anything that we can be doing to assist you at Darley, we hope you'll reach out to us.